he was like, you know, when I sent you that TikTok, it opened up your TikTok. That was like, you got a girlfriend? He talking about, she's something. What you mean? Gemini. I was like, don't do us. Whole time I'm sitting there at Leo. And he started patting my chest because I had lied and I got caught. And I was like, what are you doing? And he was like, you got a wire on? Okay, y'all, so I'm back with, um, welcome back to today's video. Today's video is, welcome back to my channel. Today's vid, welcome back to my channel. Today's, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is, damn, it's been almost a day. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a story time. I know y'all be liking my story times. I know y'all been feeding for my story times. We're going to be telling the story time of today about how I got caught being a catfish because I was being a catfish, but I was being a catfish because I'm gonna get into it, okay? Like, I'm gonna get into it. But I will be installing this wig in today's video. This wig is from Temu. I already mentioned it. And then I'm gonna be doing a haul literally probably now. Just get into a haul now. Hey y'all, before this video continue and before I keep going, I just wanna say that this video is sponsored by Temu. Thank you, Temu. I'm about to do a whole haul. I'm finna install this wig, but I just want to show y'all what the wig look like before I dye it, cause I'm finna dye it pink. So pretty good, okayish hairline. And then this is a 13 by six. So it looks like this on the inside. Now, when I did take it out the bag, I said it looked like a screenshot because we could get some more, you know, thickness around that motherfucker. But hey, I'm, I'm not complaining. The wig was only $100. We're gonna get into the rest of the shit they sent me cause I'm not gonna lie, they sent me a whole bunch of cute stuff. Hey y'all, so y'all already know today's video is sponsored by Temu. The wig is from Temu as well. I know I told y'all this would be the pink wig that I will be wearing in today's video. So this is what it looks like. And I just wanna show you guys a couple items that I grabbed from Temu because Temu is an online shopping store that is very affordable. They have very affordable things. I'm not gonna lie, this wig was $100. This wig was a hundred dollars. Also, Temu is available free in the app store. So yeah, just want to let you guys know that. And they are also supported by many celebrities such as James Charles. Temu has over thousands of items that are literally under or a dollar, like thousands of items, okay? Everything will be down below linked for you to find everything. And I also will be putting prices on the screen so that you guys understand or know how much everything costs when you're like doing your makeup or anything and kind of want to push your hair back. I needed them because I had a couple, but they did get lost in my move the next item that i got is this and i'm like really excited for this it is um the five um and one hot air styler so you kind of get like blowouts with it hey y'all i'm in atlanta these discontinued so sorry the next thing i got is a pack of um brushes this is a black three-piece fuchsia set it comes with a whole bunch of brushes i be I, if y'all didn't know this, um, y'all might call me nasty. I don't wash my brushes because I don't know. I just hate washing my brushes. So sometimes I just I just get new ones. These brushes, they're really cute. I have this electric eyelash curler. The box looked like somebody chewed up on it, but I seen it and I was like, this looks so cute. So I got it. It comes with a charger, ten pack of wig caps because y'all already know I be wearing wigs sometimes, but I hate paying for wig caps. They usually come with the wig, but I realized I had sold all my wigs. So I I had no wig caps and I was like damn I had to buy a wig cap and like it had been a while since that had to happen the next thing I have is these two Amazon fire stick cases because they glow in the dark and I'm not gonna lie I lose those little ass remotes so often like it's actually so annoying and they're black so it's like hella easy to lose the next thing I got is some lashes these actually look like cl they're clusters but I would use these to do bottom lashes because they're hella little and then I have another pair of cluster lashes I have another pair of lashes these give cat eye I have another pair of cluster lashes. Like, bro, I'm lashed out. If y'all need lashes, comment. I have another pair of lashes. I'm not gonna lie. I was just on the site ordering sh Like, at this point, clearly. The next thing I ordered is these makeup pads that I be using. The next thing that I have is these slippers. I actually got these for Salem. And then I got these two lip oils. One in raspberry and the other one in rosewood. The next thing I got is these eyelash brushes another pack of freaking brushes bro like i ordered so much stuff like it was so much things and then this is about to be a surprise because what is even this these are washing pads that get big when you put them underwater so yeah they're hella convenient i'm not gonna lie that was what i got from temu everything will be linked down below with the prices also the prices will be on the screen temu also has site-wide savings up to 90 percent off they also got free shipping and free returns up to 90 days y'all already know i'm not good with returns but i do love me a fast shipping you should also download the temu app you can click the link down below to get it in your app store and also by clicking that link you will be getting a hundred dollars off in coupons Thank you, Temu, for sponsoring today's video and your girl shopping addiction. Let's get back into the damn video. 
Okay, now that we back from doing that haul, I'm about to actually tint the lace real quick. I did the bulk cap already because um, I was on TikTok Live earlier doing it. So we're gonna get into the story. These men were torturing me. Like they were literally torturing me. But like low key, I did it to myself. But like low key at the same time, y'all could have made life a little bit easier. You know what I mean? Like y'all ain't owe me nothing. I find that spraying my wig with lace tint helps more than doing um, the makeup method because with the makeup, it kind of makes it rise from the glue and shit. So yeah, okay. So this happened like, probably like, it was when I was in DC. I was in DC, I don't remember, I think this is when I started like really taking breaks from like doing, being on social media heavy, heavy like that. Remember I had went to DC for a couple um, days. It was my first solo trip and I was so excited. And Najee actually reminded me of this story time because I was like, oh my God, like that happened to me before. Like that's, this literally happened to me before. Bro, I just be doing like, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I lived this life where, well, before I had a boyfriend, I kind of lived a life where I was really just thugging, doing my own thing. Like, I ain't even gonna lie. I just used to just be trying because I lived this life where I was reading a lot. So like when you read a lot, sometimes you really genuinely just start wanting to do shit that you see in the books that you shouldn't be doing in real life because you could either go to jail or your teacher could get fired or you could be a victim or you could date a thug and he to whip you with a gun and then bring you to Paris later and then you're supposed to just be in love or you're gonna be kidnapped like you just not supposed to live the lives that you read in books but sometimes I just get I feel like I just be delusional because this was like a couple months after I left college and what, during this time I was like heavy 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 into Wattpad when I tell you one thing about me I was heavy on that Wattpad month okay that sounds terrible I liked it but it wasn't like OD OD like, let me not emphasize that because that sounds so terrible I was just like reading a whole bunch of romance books and all that stuff so I really wanted that life just having like different identities like lying about who they are or even like the man lying about who they is and then the girl find out she a mafia killer so I had went to DC and while I was in DC, this was like the only time that I had ever been on a dating app. I was talking to like hella my friends about it and I'd be like, I always said I'm never using dating apps and I don't even judge people who do. I really believe in the whole, some people genuinely just be bored. So it'd be like, cool. But like, if you're on a dating app, <laughs> then nine times out of 10 be red flagged. I had maybe like three friends who faithfully use dating apps, bro. And the men be so catfish. Like they be so catfish. And when I say they be so catfish, I mean just in their life wise. These men be acting like they <laughs> they honcho in real life. But like if you were honcho in real life, why do no want you in real life? That'd be my question. Do y'all remember that story time I did <laughs> about where this man named Crack? I don't know if y'all ever remember that, bro, but I did this story time on this man named Crack and I was like how he was mad weird and he was getting mad because I had asked him, oh my God, I just ripped my wig. Yeah, he was getting mad because I was asking him what his real name. He's like, what do you mean? What's my real name? My real name is Crack nigga. Man. I was like, what's your family call you? Crack. I was like, okay, nigga, like relax. I met him on a dating app. It was only like two guys who I've ever talked to and none of them, I never even let them know my social media. I'm somewhat lying. I feel like it was a little bit more than that. Maybe like five. I'll give it like five. Don't exceed the hand though, just five. Cause this is what I used to do. And this is how it all started. I met Crack before the situation. So that's when I had to leave the app. Cause I was like, yeah, bro, I can't do these niggas. Like these just be killing me. Like after the Crack situation, I kind of went blank, but then I went to DC and I'm like, okay, number one, I need a plug. When I go to different cities, the way I find them is literally just be putting need a plug in my little bio. Well, I used to do that until I started having like people being able to tell me. So I was looking for a plug nonetheless. And I have put need a plug, but obviously I still kept my pictures up there just in case like maybe a fine dread head wanted to hit me up. You just gotta wait it out. Sometimes you just gotta wait it out. You gotta be patient. God said when you patient, you get blessings. I have put that I was looking for a plug and I had left my pictures up. So this guy swipes up and he's like, I sell. I'm like, okay. He was cute. So I texted him back. I remember even sending him the keys and and um, Naj was it Najee? I sent him the keys in Sade, I think at the time. And I was like, I'm about to link with this boy. And when we first started talking, I used an abbreviation of my fake, right? So I do that and I never ever use my real name. I never put my social media, I never do none of that. So when he had swiped up, he said, hello, fake name. And I'm, let's just say my fake name is, I kind of want to tell y'all because it's really not that deep. Like I really don't give a f to tell y'all, but damn, they y'all gonna know my alias. So I'm not gonna tell y'all. It starts with a B. So I want y'all to guess in the comments what I think it's Nate, what the name is. He's like, hi B. And I'm like, hey. And he's like, what you need? I asked him for his menu. He sent me a menu. Um, he's like, where are you at? At the time I was at the Citizens M in Washington DC. So I'm like, this is where I'm at. He's like, yo bro, you're dumb far. And I'm like, oops. So I'm trying to flirt my way through. But I remember in DC, I was low key eating. So I had those pictures up because like when I would take a picture, I would just upload it because I was there for a couple days. So he was like, okay, I'm about to swing. He was like, how much are you buying though? So I was like, 
how much do I need to buy for you to come out here? I got a little bit of sauce. Like this Harvey bag in the man, I got I got a tongue on me. You know what I mean? He was like, I'm finna bring you my best flavors. Just tell me when you get there. I'm like, okay, bet. So I go out. I don't remember where I went. I remember going walking somewhere, like somewhere near water. I don't even remember where the fuck I was at, bro. I was just walking at night, high as hell. I was off Eddie and everything. I always take an Eddie before I meet new people. So he texts me, he's like, where you at? I'm like, actually, I'm not in my hotel right now. He's like, you're playing. What the fuck? Like, you had me drive all the way out here. I was like, relax. I'm five minutes away. And then he was like, so you coming to me? I'm coming to you. I was like, you're the one with the V, not me. So he was like, all right, I'm finna come up. He pulls up. And this how you know, I was just doing because I was smacked, but when I'm smacked, I don't be, I don't be nervous. I just be la la la. And this was like my first discovery ever noticing that. Like, I'm wondering why I don't have to shit when I'm walking towards the car. Because, girl, that's not a car to you. That's a unicorn. You know what I mean? I'm like near this like dark area pier. It was very kidnapping because like he really could have snatched my ass, but I was gonna say my little ass, but psych. <laughs> Nobody would snatch you. You was bold and big. Yeah, he come. First, he like, he's, oh, I almost said my name. First, he's like, B. So I'm like, oh. so I turn around and I look at him and I'm like, oh, hey. Okay, he's a dread head, you know what I mean? He had a couple tattoos. Like, I have a type. And I it's, it's getting terrible because I'll be saying I don't have a type. And then I'd be looking at my type and I'd be like, oh, oh. And everybody always pointed out my type and I'd be like, what are you talking about? Oh, shit. I forgot I got to spread this glue. I'm over here just talking. Yeah, how many layers did I do so far? Like, the I'm gonna just put a little bit more on this layer and then that's gonna be it because I'm taking this wig off literally in three days. Mind you, I'm big so and at the time I had hella anxiety like I was bigger than I was now so I started finding my confidence around that time just a little bit so I was like okay like if he be like you fat like I'm be like I'm just here to cop but at this point like when you flirt with someone over the phone you kind of know what kind of vibes they're coming with you be like okay like they're coming with a little bit more spiciness than an average plug because I mean at the end of the day we did meet on a dating app and he was like yo bro and they put her eyes oh i said my name but i just knew if he was to be like oh my god this do not look like what she put on her profile is i'm gonna be like damn you literally bugging right now i just came to cop bear like you're really tripping big body like nobody wanted to flirt with you like for real but he didn't do that so we pull up i get in the car and he's just looking at me like he just scoping me so i'm like this wig did not stick let me pull this bit back and do one more layer, bro. Cause what the f just happened, bro? What was that? Do y'all know I was supposed to film this video on the edible? But I had smoke before this video. It's still. I'm filming. Hello. You okay? Yeah. yeah one of my clients just. I'm with her right now. She just looked me in my face and said, "You're fat, but you have a nice face." <laughs> Oh my God, like sometimes you need to strike them down. You know what I mean? I'm fat. Yeah. So I should lose some weight? Yes. But I have a nice face though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm cute, but I'm fat. That's what she's saying. Yeah. Yeah. Do you like me? You like me? Mm -hmm. Thank you. <laughs> okay, Kayla, goodbye. Bye. I could not do that job, bro, because them old will piss me off bro anyway back to what i was saying so i get in the car and he's sizing me up he's like looking at me up and down i'm getting nervous i'm like oh my god is he finna be like all right biggie get the fuck out at the time i didn't really know how to flirt now i would have been like what are you looking at me for like why are you watching me like just say you want to me <laughs> i wasn't saying all that i was just sitting there like but then I was like, what? <laughs> then he was just like, I can't just look at you. Like, I'm just looking. Like, I'm just seeing who who B is. And I'm like, okay, like, it's just B. And at first, I promise you, every time he said, I'm just trying to figure out who B is. I was not thinking nothing of it. I was just like, okay. Also, too, I was on social media. I don't know if I made that very clear, but I was on TikTok. And youtube I, I left out our community i was literally on every social platform at this point it wasn't really like do he know who i am it was more so like is he just like saying i'm a catfish or something but he was like do you want to smoke at this point i'm off of eddie right so i'm like i'm smart i'm a little bit smart i mean just be calling me stupid but i am a little bit smart i was like my hotel is five minutes away he's like you invited me to your hotel room i was like no nigga, i'm not i linked Najee the, the day before this what i was trying to do is just be close to my hotel where if he was to be come like a weirdo he just dropped me off I could just jump out and just walk to my hotel. But I didn't want him to know exactly where my hotel was, so I just made him park like down the street, like on this like random corner. We start smoking or whatever, we're just talking, nothing nothing of it, and he asked me questions, and I just feel the need to lie. He's like, so when's your birthday? I don't even remember what I gave him, but I know I gave him something in June because I was gonna just use all the information from my, from my fake, right? I was just be giving people that, but I couldn't remember it because I'm so smacked. I remember being so smacked, I was like, damn, what is my birthday on there? But I knew it was June, so I know I gave him something 
June. And I think it was Gemini dates because he was like, oh, no, nah, I don't do Gemini's. Like, you're tripping. I'm like, I don't do them neither. I don't know shit about that lifestyle. Like, <laughs> start bringing up astrology. I'm sitting there like, I don't even know what sign that is. He's like, and I know it was something in June because he was like something about a Gemini. I was like, don't do us. Whole time I'm sitting there at Leo. He told me his sign. I don't even remember what his sign was, bro. And I was just like, mm, I don't do those because y'all be weird. But whole time I've never met that sign a day in my life. I never even talked to a sign like that a day in my life. He's like, are you hungry? I'm like, yes. But like at this point, it's not even a date. So I'm not expecting him to pay for anything, if that makes sense. Like you're just asking me, am I hungry? I'm like, yeah, because I'm big. So I'm like, <laughs> So he's like, okay, cool. Let's go get burgers from this burger place. I don't even remember what it was called, bro. It's a burger place in DC. If y'all just drop popular burger places down in DC and then I might confirm it. It was burger and fries. That was it. It was just burgers and fries and milkshake. You could take it out too. So I was like, okay. So we go to the burger place. I'm literally sitting there and I'm like, oh my God, bro. This is when I know I'm finna get noticed, bro. And Clear it up. So I'm sitting in the room room. I'm sitting in the car and I'm in the passenger and he has strong tints on his car like it's like black tints so you gotta walk up to that bitch. you could and you still not gonna see nothing in the car so i'm watching but it's good because i can see out the car though so i'm watching and through like the little glass of the restaurant i see a group of black bitches like damn i know they're gonna notice me once you start getting noticed a lot you're gonna just start noticing when you know you're gonna get noticed like bro you're gonna see a group of people and you're gonna be like yep that's my audience right there they're gonna notice me and nine times out of ten i'm right yeah, and I meant this so humbly, like, I want everybody to know when they came up to me, I seen you before you seen me. Like, I mentally already prepared myself, because I know, it's like, y'all don't hide it at all. Like, y'all be thinking y'all so slick, like, I literally seen your eyes go like this when you see me. Like, girl, I know you feel the code to me. Ten times out of ten, all right. So... He gets out the car and I pretend I'm get taking a phone call. I'm, I'm acting like I'm on the phone. I'm like, you could go in with it without me, right? So he's like, okay. So he goes in without me. I don't even remember what I was saying. One of the times though, I remember specifically pretending I was on the phone with my mom. This time, I don't remember what I was doing. Like, I just remember just being so smacked. Like, I was so freaking smacked. He come back out and he like, you don't want nothing to eat? And I'm like, oh yeah, I'm about to go in there and grab something real quick. Go in there. As soon as I go in there, why the group of black notice me? They're saying my real name. Mind you, at this point, he has been calling me B the whole time we both have our buzzers and he ordered probably like five minutes before me so i'm like you want me to just like so i make up the next Ma! i don't want to go back inside with him but at this point i don't have no excuse like if his buzzer goes off before mine he's he's like you want me to go um get the food and i'm like no nah, actually i can just go because mine's gonna come after yours so i could just go and then just wait on yours and when they call yours i'll pick mine up after so he's like okay cool so i go in and i'm waiting and they're like the supporters are still talking to me they're like can i get a picture i'm trying to move behind the coca-cola machine so that he don't really see that i'm taking a picture because it's just like who the f why would you be taking a picture after i get our food i come back i'm like talking to him some more or whatever we're talking like i'm literally telling this man hella lies about myself yo bro i just turned my head to the side in this video I forgot I have a Leo tattoo at the back of my ear, bro. I did have my natural hair straightened, though, like a silk press. So we gonna assume he ain't see that because I'm like just now thinking about it. Like all these times I lied and I really have a Leo time behind my ear. <laughs> if I was in personally, I would have been like, you lying, but that's just me. Like he like, so what your real name is? B Junior the third. I was named after my uncle who died in World War Five. Like on some real shit. Sometimes I cry about him. My brother go out there a lot to Cali. I have no brother. <laughs> I'm just lying because he telling me about how he like cops and stuff. So I'm just lying. I'm like, yeah, my brother be going out there. I start asking him. I'm like, get yeah, all in his business at this point because at this point this man is trusting me. So I'm like, so like, what you be selling and stuff? Like, at this point he's starting to ask me like about how how he should move his plays and stuff. Like he was like, how much should I sell? this person stuff for. I told him I went to a private school. He was like, was it all girls and all boys? I was like, oh no, it was boys and girls. I was just lying. I went to a ghetto school in Mount Vernon. He was like, where you from? No, I did tell him I was from New York. That's cause he asked. He was like, you from New York and are you Jamaican? He asked me that straight away. And I was like, yeah. And he was like, mm, I could tell. And I was like, how can you tell? He was like, you have an accent. I don't be hearing the accent that everybody talks about, but he was like, you have an accent. You have an accent in both. Like I could hear the Jamaican in you. And I hear the New York in you. Cause his mom was also too, 
either like I don't remember what her fuck his fucking mama was. She was Car Caribbean, so you know how they all kind of play into each other. They intertwine a lot of times. He's like, it was really nice to meet you. Like I like talking to you. Like you really a vibe. I'm like, yo, thank you. Blah, blah, blah. I didn't kiss him or nothing. I didn't do nothing with him. But for some reason, I was really like, I should invite him up to my hotel room and really just. But I didn't. I that didn't because I was just. I don't know. I don't know. I didn't. I'm, I wasn't the type of girl yet. I mean, like, I'm not that type of girl at all, but like, at that moment, it was just, no, I was real insecure. He dropped me off, whatever. The next day, um, he asks me again, do I want to hang out? I'm like, yeah, are you going to show me around? He's like, yeah. We literally just talking, hanging out the whole night. But I keep saying we just kept talking, like, we was literally just talking. I don't even know what we was talking about. He was like, when do you leave? And I'm like, uh, I think at that point, I had like two more days left. I was like, in like two days. And he was like, damn, you leaving? Mind you, at this time, I lived in Connecticut. And I'm over here telling this man I live in New York. I have to get back to work. I was here on business. He's like, do you live alone? Yes. This man asked me how old I was. At the time, I was like 18. I was like, I think I told him the age on my, whatever birthday I gave him, the age of my ID. And I think at the time on my ID, I was like 22, 21. So, and I don't even remember how old he was. When we was driving, I had said something to him. And he was like, you don't want to do that. And I was like, why? A car had like zoomed past him. I need to stay away from men in these situations. I did. I've been doing, I've done good. Somebody zoomed past him or like was started zooming like up near him close. Man's digged in his side pocket, started ducking, looking around. I was like, oh my fuck, no. Die. And that awkward taco moment when it was just the car driving past. And then it's the awkward silence of like, what you was digging for? Hmm? So he's like, I'm sad because I have to leave soon. And mind you, y'all, I'm trying to put on my like my cute ass outfits for this not even date. Because at this point, I'm thinking like, I'm going to have me a DC boo forever. The first time Salem ever commented on one of my videos was when I was in DC. And I remember the exact post I made. It was like, when you got a nigga at home with waves and you in a city full of dreadheads now. Yeah, and he had commented to LMFA on. I was like, we got him, y'all. We got him. He was just like, damn, I'm sad. And I'm like, why? And he like, because every time I feel like I make a friend, like, da 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 He like asked me, do I have a nigga? I literally be so delusional. I just be wanting to see how they gonna what they're going to say. I actually said, yeah, I got something like that. I was like, you got a girlfriend? He talking about, see, this one I know niggas isn't shit. He talking about... She's something. What you mean? I'm like, I don't do this with girlfriends. And he was like, nah, she not my boyfriend. I'm sure she doing her own thing. He was like, you have a nigga? And I was like, sometimes. And then I was like, why? You scared? This was the next day. So like, at this point, I was kind of comfortable because it had went well night, like the day prior to the point where I was like, okay, seeing you again isn't like, I don't get that anxiety. Like, even when I had came to the car, he was like, you look really pretty. He was like, ask me, do I want him to take like my pictures and stuff? I should have started clocking. He was definitely macking. He was feeling me. I don't go how nobody feel he was feeling me like because after that <laughs> that man was vexed like he was pissed he was just like y'all be living that far and i was like i don't live that far like i only live in new york like you could just come see me <laughs> no one this nigga is never gonna see me he like what's your instagram and i'm like i don't really be on instagram and he's like what's your instagram thank god i had a spam i was like i only have a spam so he's like what's your spam i gave him my spam because on my spam is not my name is not in it and my name at the time was mad weird i don't remember what my name was in my spam if you was there my spam name was probably like big body bitch in an opinion or something so like i remember when he seen he was laughing he was like nah like you really funny like uh uh he's like add me to it and i'm like i'm gonna think about it i'll follow you but i don't know if i'm gonna add you to my I gotta clear it first. You know, I'm being a real ass bitch. He's like, why? I already know you might you got a nigga. I'm like, are you going for that? <laughs> are you going for that? Yeah, I said, I don't give a fuck you with me right now. So they're like, I ain't even gonna lie though. I did be like, ooh, I like that. You the type I like, Papa. He was telling me, showing pictures of myself because he's like, you're so pretty. And I was showing him pictures, but I was in my camera roll. So he was like, you don't be posting none of these. Like, what? Why? And I'm just like, I don't know. I don't really do the Instagram shit. Hold on, I'm, I'm a social media bitch. I'm a YouTuber, I'm a Instagrammer, I'm a motherfucking TikToker bitch. I'm everything in one, but I'm like, I don't really do the social media shit, you know what I mean? I be on my dolo, like, I be solo, like, I don't need nobody to really pre me, like, you know what I mean? Like, I'ma just suck it up, like, you know what I mean? I'ma just chill in my own vibe, I be in my own world. Sometimes I just don't want to be on this media, like, the media be too toxic for my brain cells. Me on TikTok literally telling all my my story. I remember he even sends me a TikTok and thank God at this time, yo bro, cause this, this is how I got caught the last time. Somebody sent me a TikTok of whatever he was showing me. It was somebody, I was talking to some guy. He sent me a TikTok of like a place in the city that he was gonna bring me. I opened that to my real account. He was like, when we got together, this is a whole nother situation. When we got together, he was like, you know, when I sent you that TikTok, it opened up your TikTok. Cause I had lied and I got caught, but I was just lying still. I just said that the name I gave him was my middle name. 
This is like a series. I only did it to like three years, but it's cool. One of them was online. I never even met him. And he was like, I like that though. Like you just be in your own little world. I asked him why he started selling drugs. Like he, he was getting real deep. Like he was, at first he was like, um, why? No, no, no. This is what he did. This is literally what he did. You, this happens to me sometimes. This is how I know I need to mind my business. I was asking him questions. And I was like, what made you start selling? Like, how long? Like, you're dead young. Like, how are you this deep in it? Like, at this point, he was telling me he sold this, this, this. Like, you could probably get, I don't even know, some salts from him. You could, He probably gave you the kit to make the crap. And I'm like, what made you start doing that? Like, <laughs> you're mad young. And he dead ass was like, and he started patting my chest, like, patting me. And I was like, what are you doing? Like, I wasn't even uncomfortable. That's how you know. And he was like, you got a wire on? And I was like, don't do that. I don't even play like that. I had to bring out, I don't f with that fed him if he tried to kill me. <laughs> 911, please you come get me. And then he continued talking, but like, this is easy because what if I was? All it took was, don't do that. I don't even play like that. You should have really ripped open my shirt and looked down in that bitch because imagine a I would imagine I had to tuck them out. He was like telling me why he started selling and all that stuff. And I was just like, okay, cool, whatever. We hung out. It was cool. At the end of the link, he was like, I want to kiss you, but I'm going to save it for the next time I see you. And I'm like, okay. But you could tell when a nigga's full of bullshit because we was texting for about three days. We like seen each other two times out of the three days. My confidence be very weird like all it take is for me to be comfortable with you to be able to show you my flirty side you he don't know how to flirt to the point where it's like you don't feel intimidated by him at all because you know more than him at this point you can literally tell when you just know more than a nigga when it comes to this date and shit or flirt and shit or whatever the next day i go home and we're still texting like we're actually still texting but not heavy because like i said i i be pretending i'm hella busy i didn't even end up adding him on my spam and he kept saying like why you ain't adding me on instagram i be wanting to send you shit and i'd be like no just send it to me i'm gonna still get it i was like i don't add you too hot <laughs> one thing i'm telling you these things gonna fall for any these are my old ways though i'm like actually a really good person now yeah i need to blow dry this hair i think i'm gonna blow dry this hair finish the rest and then i'm gonna come back brb so i curled the wig i did my makeup <clears throat> and let's continue with the story and just take out these pins because literally y'all i was not feeling my edges like i was trying so hard to get them to look okay but i just feel like I might start being a no edge girl on colored wig girly because it just be hard as f to like get them to look appropriate. This is what I came up with. Like that was the best I could f do. And I feel like they're still like low key touching my eyebrows. Let's continue the story. I think I was at the part where I was saying like I went home. Everything was cool. Like we was texting for a few days. Cool. Boom, boom. Right. So when we was texting, everything was normal. Like to be honest. We was talking, he was still calling me B, I was still responding as B, like, I didn't really care. But, like, you know, I was working, like, whatever, whatever. So, one day he FaceTimes me, and I'm, like, talking to him, and I don't remember what we got in an argument about, but he was just being a weirdo. I don't like guys who lie and then offer information to me for no reason. So, he had told me that he was going somewhere, and he told me, so I had asked him, and he was like chill like blah, blah blah and i was like you're being weird like nobody was worried about you and we started arguing oh he was like what you with your oh no 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 no, no. i'm sorry that was another time i'm sorry y'all i got toxic real quick i was working and i didn't want to talk to him so i just like he was texting me and i wasn't responding because i was working and honestly i feel like i was getting that cold turkey you know that self-sabotage cold turkey when you just know like i was a little bit embarrassed in my social media so it's like if you know who i am you might change your whole entire mind so it's like i'm a the type of to just automatically start oh these is giving grandma curls mm -mm. i don't know how i feel about that i wasn't answering him i wasn't really texting him back because they could have their fun with you they could do whatever they want they could text you back when you want to text them, when they want to text you back and i feel like what was happening was you know a bitch was detaching right and then i'd be detaching and then randomly his weird ass would be like oh hey and then we'll talk all my day and i'm a busy bitch i'm gonna assume you're a busy so like i mean from what i see you're busy you you got you you got your own on the street business and all that stuff so it's like you're busy so i'd be trying to respect that but it was this one particular time where i guess he wanted attention and i didn't feel like giving it to him because he had pissed me off with the whole disappearing and then coming back but like i said i already didn't really care that much because i'm like i mean i think he has a like i'm not gonna lie and i said i don't do this with big girlfriends and he was like so then you can still do me because i don't got no bitch. i'm like okay cool but for some reason my alarm is going off like uh, nah, uh do he have a bitch over i don't care but it's just like annoying when you're talking to someone and then the next morning they like oh sorry my fault i i i fell asleep no the f 
you didn't. So I used to get hella irritated at that. So I just kind of stopped like talking to him hella hardcore. Like, you know what I mean? Like I would just text back when I felt like it. And we wasn't in the same city. So it's like, there's no point of me even talking to you until I'm back in the city. That's kind of how I was looking at it to spare myself from feeling some type of way about anything he was doing because I don't catch feelings that quickly unless like you're showing that same energy. I end up blocking him. Nonetheless, I end up blocking him. Not that he pissed me off so bad, I blocked him. I was like, nigga, you do not have to talk to me. Oh my God, my eyes glitching. But yeah, so I end up blocking him that night because like one thing about me, at that time at least, I was free. I kept caught on to red flags quick and I called you out on them and based on your response, if you was able to stay on my phone or not. His response was not able to stay on my phone or not. I don't remember specifically what he did that blew the f out of me, but his response was bad enough for me to not want to talk to him no more. That night, he left me alone. He didn't bother me. I was like, oh, damn. You know, you think you get that little hood love story and then you, a nigga show you he really don't give a f because he don't call your phone and be like, okay, cool. But I don't know. I wasn't really used to that. I'm used to at least a, um, a, a text now call. You know what I mean? I was like, whatever. Next thing you know, the next day, he called my phone. So I, I, I pick up because it's an anonymous, it's not even anonymous, it's just a number. So I answer and he's like, why am I blocked? And I was like, because you're being mad weird. Bangs it on him. He calls me again. And at this point, I'm not gonna lie, I'm living for the drama. So I'm just answering the phone. I'm like, stop calling me. Like, you're dumb annoying. Like, stop calling my phone. Like, you're dumb aggy. And he's like, nah, bro, why am I blocked? Like, bro, over at a disagreement from last night. Yes, you got blocked from my disagreement last night. Yes, exactly. I'm glad you understand. Y'all know they be having them strong accents, so you like, yo, why am I black, bro? Oh, a disagreement, though? Yes, a disagreement. I should call Najee and have her reiterate for me. Then I started being a little nice. He started arguing with me again. Oh, because my whole thing be when I'm out. And now, oh my God, that's another reason why I feel like my toxic trait is I don't like men questioning me. Like, if you're not my man, why are you questioning me? My whole thing be with bitches, we don't get to question a nigga. Like, we question a nigga, don't get me wrong. But, like, they don't just offer information. Like, you want me to tell you, oh, yeah, right now I'm outside driving towards the bank because I'm finna go. No, bro, you don't even do that. You be at the bank already, then left the bank, already got Popeyes, and came home and then be like, oh, yeah, by the way, I went to the bank today. And you already had left the house. You could have been anywhere but the bank. But I didn't know until now. So it's like, it bothers the f out of me when a to think that they're entitled for you them to know what you're doing every five seconds of the day like even in my relationship salem told me you have a horrible issue of doing shit or planning shit and then not saying nothing to the day of in my relationship obviously you start respecting it more because you're with someone who you care for but i don't know it's something about a nigga who is not my nigga asking me where are you at i'm a lie yeah i don't like the way i curled this wig i'm not gonna lie i don't like the way it curled and i want to do like this little style but it's giving grandma he called me a bitch a couple times too but i don't i don't know it just depends because i'm i know a lot of be iffy with the bitch word but i'm not that iffy with the bitch word i don't really think it's that serious to me i don't care about no bitches who do think it's serious because i'm not gonna tell you what your boundaries is but i don't know if you're not my nigga, you're not about to keep calling me your bitch, your bitch, your bitch. and when you are my nigga, you better call me your girl in front of your mans like let's say we talking and you're like yeah because this you talking about why my bitch i would be like okay good like i mean not good but i'd be like okay i don't see an issue with that but like if you in front of your mans and you keep talking about some oh my bitch my bitch my bitch i'm gonna be like let's not you know what i mean so i feel like it's just a time and a place for me one thing about me i like dealing with men who soft with me if you fucking rough with me i already been through that i don't want to do it again them niggas is mean i don't know how to be with niggas who is not nice to them who be hella rude to them who be calling them all types of names fat and this and that so i blocked him he blew me again block i was like yeah you're not getting blocked how you gonna blow me again on the text now on the text now you blow me again like you would think a nigga on thin ice would stop skating no so i blocked him again or i just blocked that number i end up ugh, my slow ass i get bored one night right i get drunk one night i call him and he's like what are you doing and i'm like nothing i'm drunk so he's like oh okay i got a question i'm like what he like your name Brent for real? I was like, what the hell? Why are you asking me that? Like, who just asks that random question? At this point, I already know where this is going to go. He's like, your name is not Ben. Like, stop playing, bro. And I was like, I'm not playing. My name is Bryn because I'm going to just play as, like, just ask. Just ask. Is this you? So he's like, I'm going to send you something. I'm like, okay. <laughs> Why this nigga send me my TikTok? So I'm like,
LMFAO. Like, I remember just being like, LMFAO, because what do you say to that? I was like, okay. And he's like, why you ain't tell me you did social media? Because, I don't know, it just never came up. He was like, it came up mad times. What is your name? Like, how do you even... He kept saying, Rai Kai, Rai Kai, Rai Kai. I'm like, my name is Ricky. Your name is Ricky? Bro, you was catfishing me? I'm like, catfishing you? Uh, don't do that. You see me in person before you even see me. He like, yeah, but you was telling me your name is Bren. I start lying. That's my middle name. <laughs> At this point, that's my middle name. So he's like, yeah, but... We've been talking for, mind you, we have not been talking that long. We've literally been talking for like two weeks. We've been talking for like mad long. I'm over here to opening up about you, bro. I don't even know the real you. You talking to me. Blah, 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 blah. So I'm like, I'm literally sitting there. Like low key, y'all, I'm embarrassed. But like at the same time, I don't care because it's not a who I would ever meet again if I don't want to meet again. It's one thing if like this is a person who you'll see again because he's in your school or he's in no he's not so i'm like i don't care like okay obviously your feelings is hurt and i'm i apologize because that was wrong of me and i, I could admit that like i should have told the truth but i didn't want to he was like um is everything you told me true i'm like yes i just lie i'm like yes everything i told you is true i was getting irritated because like stop acting like you didn't tell me you have a whole bitch. and on top of that stop acting like you ever really gave a about me in the first place i'm like how did you even find who i was and he's like he was sitting next to someone and they was like who that and then he was like some girl who i met out here i don't know what he said and that they was like oh i know her and it was like from where and it was like that is not her name and then they told him who i was and i was like why are you even talking about me to people i did feel a little bit bad but like i stopped feeling bad because after me and salem is together this is when i first 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 popped out with salem this is gonna text me mind you didn't haven't talked to him in so long he told me you don't talk to me no more he just went stupid one day and i was just like okay but i think i was honestly arguing back with him that day because i don't know so i think it was like a mutual agreement like no, don't talk to me no more and he was just like okay you stupid bitch don't talk to me no more and i was like okay bet months go by months and at this point he's blocked one day and i post about this on my spam and say look i'm mad but i didn't know like he calls me this person calls me and he's like so you wasn't gonna tell me you got in a relationship no why would I do that? At this point, I remember I was losing weight too, so I didn't follow him on Instagram. I did, like I literally this man slipped my mind. At this point, I'm in love, so I answer and I'm just like, no, and I just hang up. And he starts texting me, he's like, you could have told me. I'm like, tell you for what? I owe you nothing. Like, owe you nothing. Like, why? Why would I need to tell you I got into a relationship? I owe you nothing. And he was hella mad. And from there he ain't talked to me. But I blocked him, and he like he left me alone. But Salem was like block him and i was like done I, he was already blocked before like the call i even posted about it on my spam but it was still like who the f do these n be thinking they are like if he was to get in a relationship i'm not texting him talking about you didn't think it was unless that n was talking to me still it was no point of me telling him like telling him for what i wasn't even talking to nobody when me and salem got together like that was the like the last person and even then it was months before me and salem officially met before we even started talking the good old times but yeah this is what my hair looks like thank you Tamu, for sponsoring today's video i don't really like my wig right now i just think that the way i did my curls is like really ugly if y'all have any curling tips uh drop them down below thanks for coming to my story time and i will see y'all in the next one bye